Hello, I'm Daniel Romero with The Breakdown, all things film and filmmakers. The Breakdown is brought to you by the California Film Foundation. The California Film Foundation also presents the Sacramento International Film Festival. Now, the reason why I am here and not Martin is because he is getting ready for a big premiere tomorrow night for the film Notorious Nick that is actually sold out. But don't worry, guys, there is more Sacramento Film Festival to go. Now, let's get a sneak peek of that right now. Let's roll it. Wow, that looks absolutely amazing. You guys are not going to want to miss a beat for this film festival. So to avoid that, I am going to tell you exactly what you need to do. All you got to do is go to this website right here down below, californiafilm.net. Now we turn, our we turn our attention to our guests. Now the ladies I will introduce are involved in the upcoming movie Smashed, which is going to be filmed this month. Let's bring Don Spinella and Leia Latham. <laughs> hello hello Hi. thank you for being here <laughs> thank you so i will be introducing you guys so don spinella is going to be the director now she is the head of the american screenwriter conference and csf screenwriters Le leah right leah, leah. Yes. Leah, sorry, i keep butchering that leah oh, is a creative producer she's worked for walt disney animation and has contributed to films like zootopia frozen and moana that's so exciting. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, Thanks for having thank us. You. So guys, you guys are in the process of producing the film Smashed. Now, can you guys tell me the process, what's going on? So we are producing, um, yeah, we're in the middle of making Smashed, which is a uh, about 10 minutes short that Don has written and will be directing. And we are uh, about two weeks away from actually shooting this thing, too. Wow. So it's through Women in Media, which Women in Media is a nonprofit organization that supports gender parity in our entertainment industry. And uh, we're very proud to say that our crew is by and large, the majority is all female and female presenting, which is really exciting and uh, really empowering that we get to show up and we're gonna do this three day shoot. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy run. Uh, we are really excited about it. We'll be filming <gasps> on um, the TVC sound stages down in Hollywood, uh, which will be a huge, huge uh, sound stage. It's, I think, Don, correct me if I'm wrong, 15,000 square feet. Uh, mm -hmm. It's where they will be, where they have been filming uh, Survivor finales and Dancing with the Stars. So it's a really, really big, beautiful, wonderful opportunity that we're going to get to make this wonderful amazing. little comedy. And yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. So everything stood out. But what struck me the most was that it's going to be a female dominated film, which is so refreshing because in this industry, you know, it's, you always hear about, you know, men dominating. So the fact that I think I read up on it, it's, correct me if I'm wrong, 90% females involved in this production. Yeah. Oh, right now it's probably dawn or i mean it's probably 90 percent female what? at this point mm -hmm. yeah. and can i ask what inspired this film um well i recently had my own mental breakdown so you know i just drew off that earlier today <laughs> <laughs> yep that's how it goes that's how it goes basically yeah you yeah, know having a mental breakdown during covid was perfect it was perfect timing um, no, we got involved. I got involved in women in media and thought about what type of film I would like to uh, create for uh, the women in media brand and uh, working with the, the working with uh, the producers. We all kind of talked about what we liked and didn't like and what we thought could be fun. And I knew I wanted to write and work on something comedy based mm -hmm. and um, so we just took it from there and we thought like, what kind of environment's gonna work well for a female based film? And, and uh, it really completely got out of hand. We had no idea that it was gonna become this large. And 
It's it for a, a short film. It's actually taking production. It's the same kind of production that we'd be doing for a feature, except that we're only shooting for three days. And um, otherwise, we're working our asses off, beep, uh, preparing, doing all this pre-production as though we are shooting a feature. But um, and it's pretty amazing. So much is happening. It's really oh awesome. Gosh. I bet you said three days to film. That yes. that means you know you have to really your time management has to be so on point because you know there a lot could go on in three days. But wow, that that's amazing. And now I just want to know what will this film be about? Leah, do you want to take that? <laughs> sure, absolutely, <laughs> uh, absolutely. Uh, so this film is a comedy, and it is really a, it's about a. Uh, home shopping network host who has worked her entire career to build up to this place. She's the top of her game. Uh, she is a uh, she's a single mom who has done everything to give her daughter the best life she possibly could. But the thing that she didn't give her daughter was that quality time and the deep relationship that her daughter actually really craves. So our hero Lana, she goes uh, on on set onto her uh, home shopping network live set and has an emotional breakdown. And we process her journey along through the multiple sets and meet the multiple hosts that are part of this home shopping network as she processes this realization and these feelings. Oh my gosh, that, now I'm getting excited. I wanna watch this. This is <laughs> definitely be interested. Um, so now I'm, I'm also curious, who came up with the name Smashed for this type of film? Wasn't that kind of a group thing? Yeah, I think we were bouncing around uh, different uh, different titles that we were trying to think of, and we wanted something punchy. And uh, we love a double entendre, which this really works as a metaphor for many things. You know, she's smashing up her life, her relationships, her expectations of herself, <laughs> and of the job that she has. And uh, there might be some bourbon balls along the way that she might get a. Might get a little tipsy of it through too. So it's, it applies to all the different things that, sh that Lana, our main character, will be going through. I yeah. love that. We have a, this, this group is kind of a group think, you know? I mean, we get together and we brainstorm and, and we all bounce off each other. So it's really hard to say, like, did one person come up with it? Um, if anybody, it was probably Leah who suggested it. But who knows? Because we all brainstormed and then all of a sudden I heard smashed somewhere in there. I don't know who said it. And I'm like, yeah, that is the title right there. Oh, nice. And were there any other ideas, any other uh, titles that you guys were thinking of or smashed was just the hit? Rebranded, Re we had talked about for a minute. I mean, we, but that was a, kind of a different story. That was really when we were talking about our host trying to come up with a new identity for herself and uh the other side of a midlife crisis sort of thing which this still has themes of but mm -hmm. uh we liked we moved past that and it was more than just wanting to rebrand herself and we wanted it to be more of a selfless story so she wasn't just doing as an inward uh reflection of her own journey this was more about who she uh the expectations she's smashing through and trying to reach back out and save this relationship with her daughter. So as the story changed, so did the title. I think we had some pretty terrible ones along the way. I think I probably have a back of a napkin somewhere that <laughs> 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 all the different ideas, but. What has been um, like the, the best experience so far with this? Hmm. I would say um, becoming closer uh, with my uh, colleagues, my, my, producers, my co-producers here and developing friendships with them and then meeting so many amazing women through women in media. I mean, I think that's been the the most, that's been the best part of this. I've met so many amazing people um, and built my own network. And, uh, and then uh, I think that, so it's just, it's been those, the relationships and also realizing that I could, um, create under intense pressure. So basically I'm a diamond and uh, <laughs> there was a whole lot of pressure and I, no, oh, I, I made it. I showed up. I did it. So that's always me. rewarding. What's been the best part for you? For me? Uh, uh, well, first off, you are a diamond Don. I, you are a <laughs> diamond Don. Oh my gosh. We just made a new nickname. <laughs> diamond Don. Oh, I'm very excited about this. I'm all about a nickname. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Sterling. <laughs> um, I, I totally agree with what Don said. I mean, the women that we have met through this, uh, I, I, I only knew our two other producers and I never worked with them, Bex and Sam. I'd only met them briefly before uh, before this. And when they asked me to come work with them on this team, uh, I don't think any of us really knew what kind of adventures awaited us when we signed up. But uh, And then getting to meet Don for the first time this spring, and uh, I think we met in April, and, and then getting to work with Don and develop the story in this way it has really been wonderful. I think... Uh, what this opportunity has lent all of us is being able to test our metal in a way that we haven't necessarily had the opportunity to before because because the stakes are so high and because the production value gets to be so high for this in a way that I know I highly doubt I'd have the resources to do on my own. Um, you know, women in media have been so wonderful in partnering with, uh, for example, the MBS group and the MBS group has given us these amazing training weekends, uh, that really are trying to push getting more female representation in male dominated roles, such as um, gaffing, so lighting and in grip and in set construction. So these, these spaces that are really otherwise hard to get into, uh, they're providing these great mentorship opportunities and training, hands-on training opportunities that I think have just completely blown our expectations out of the water. And we've all come out, I think, feeling like we're changed women <laughs> on the other side who can really feel like we know a little bit and we've touched we've touched these ropes we've touched these lights we've touched we have an idea of what uh, how to rig something even if we're not the ones to do it we can speak to it and as a producer that i love that that i can i have the words now to articulate a need or try to communicate between parties uh, so i i think that has been an unex unexpected surprise of how much we have actually gotten to have that uh, confidence boost and mm -hmm. the vernacular to support it Wow, I'm, I'm so excited. You know, from personal experience, um, I just graduated, but I remember taking a production class, um, I wanna say in the spring of 2020, so a little over a year ago. And one of our, my professors actually showed a film on behind the scenes production for a football game. It was 100% males in that studio, 100%. And at the end of the clip, he goes, did you guys see anything wrong with this film? And my first thought was, you know, it's all men. There's no woman behind the scenes. Um, and luckily, you know, someone else said it for me because I didn't want to be wrong. I didn't want to say the wrong thing, but someone else mentioned it and he goes, you are hundred percent right. And to think about it, this is a year ago. So, you know, for me, I want my kids to be in, or hopefully when they want to do production or whoever wants to do production, they sit down and they see films with women as camera, or like behind the camera, um, doing more production stuff. So. I'm so happy, I'm so excited for this, and I love seeing representation. You know, it's 2021, we gotta get on this. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then something that you just said too about, um, not that you, you were a little afraid to mention it because you're afraid of being wrong. And mm -hmm. you know, that, oh, I think that resonates, right? Because we are a little afraid, especially as women, I think that's very common for us to feel, right. mm -hmm. as well as, you know, if you've heard that statistic of like, if you give a job description to a man and a woman, if the man sees their skills reflected 10%, they'll apply where a woman has to feel like they fit a hundred percent of those qualifications. Mm. It's, and for me, this, these training weekends have done that too, where if, for example, we uh, are approaching, they're like, well, do you know how to tie knots? And you're like, I don't, really know how to do that. But in this training weekend, now I can say, yeah, I've done it. Absolutely. I have done it. I, you know, and I will learn on the go, but at least I know what you're talking about. Or, mm -hmm. you know, have you set up a mambo combo where before I'd be like, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what that is. But now I feel like I can say yes. And that's just because someone has given me an opportunity mm -hmm. to have exposure around that, how important that is, because otherwise, I don't know that a lot of us would put ourselves at a seat at the table otherwise. Exactly. I know there's there's a lot of uh, self doubt, but I'm I'm working on that. We're all working on that. It's, uh, We're all working on that. Yeah. <laughs> Renee Brown is there for us. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. No. Okay. Now taking it back a little bit, you mentioned that the idea popped off in April. Is that right? Yeah. It uh, in April of this year. Yeah, it has been extremely accelerated. I would say that. Don, did we did we actually get you going in May? I think we started we started hunting for you in April. I think it was middle of April that uh, me, Bex, and Sam were given the task of of finding a. You're, you're counting on your fingers. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. It, if it feels terrifying, it's because it has been. 
Ah. Uh, we were given a, a given a task to try and find um, a script that we wanted to produce, a 10 page script and uh, preferably with a writer director attached who could direct it as well. And the beautiful stars in the sky crossed and we found Don, which was the perfect match. And Don knew, <laughs> you knew Sam for sure. Did you know Bex before? I did, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. did. Okay, no, Sam and Bex is that sacramental love. I had spent a lot there. of time with Bex, um, but Sam had taken one of my writing classes, so I knew her a lot more. Um, but yeah, I, I'd known them. I knew them both. Yeah, yeah. Well, then Don didn't know me from Eve, so <laughs> we started that uh, our relationship right from the beginning, and we did. We really started. Uh, I think your script was selected towards the end of April, and we really went into rewrites. Uh, because then we realized that uh, that's been a whole journey too. We started with a concept that has been blossomed from very much from there. I mean, it it started out actually being a horror movie. Actually, <laughs> like, oh, it was, yeah, it went from a horror movie to a comedy. The more that we talked about what we wanted, what Don really wanted, and what types of movies she really liked to direct. I'm sorry, Don, go ahead. Let's say a black comedy, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was yeah, still exactly. funny. There was still a, a comedy, you know, complete comedy aspect to to it with horror um, mm -hmm. traits, but yeah. And then we removed the horror and went yeah. straight for the comedy. Oh so we'll see if we're getting there. We'll see if we're gonna get yeah. there. It was, a, it was a great conversation though, one day that Don and I sat down and, and we started talking about like what kind of movie Don would really like to make and what kind of movie she really likes. She's like, I really like comedy. And we're like, great, throw that thing out. Let's make a comedy. <laughs> so women in media have really uh, also had a close hand with our uh, script construction too. But we've been making, I keep saying that we're putting down the train tracks as the train is coming because that shoot date has never changed. That shoot date has always been August. And oh. just Dawn's had to do like literally 30 drafts and you know, she and I would play ping pong back and forth. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's been Diamond Dawn. <laughs> yeah. Diamond Dawn, for sure. I'm going to be calling you that for the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Sorry, I didn't ask your permission. <laughs> That's it. I like it. I don't have to live up to that name. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been a whirlwind, and we and it hasn't stopped. And it, it, Gosh. it is still going strong because yeah. we're, you know, then we went, as soon as we were, before we were even approved, before the script was uh, locked, uh, we were already in levels of pre-production because we had to s start working, you know, finding our crew and um, and designing the possible set. If you know, like, assuming that that it was all everything was going to happen regardless, uh, we had to act like that because we knew that we had very little time uh, to make it happen. So our pre-production and our script writing were really all happening simultaneously. Uh, we're still in pre-production right now. I mean, we're getting what we're casting. We're I'm, I've been auditioning even today. So the the set is being built, and um, we're going in, and we're going to be hanging our own lights. We're rigging our lights. We've got over two hundred lights because we've got four different sets, and um, that will that are being built and set up in this fifteen thousand plus square foot soundstage in Hollywood. So when I say it's like a um, it's like a feature, it, it is exactly like a feature. It's just we're not going to be on set for 25 days. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna we have three days, and and um, I've been working on the the shot list today, and I can tell you right now somebody's going to kick my my butt because <laughs> um, I only have I've done half of the alphabet so far in scene one alone. So you know when you like when you're um, setting up a shot list, you do like scene one and your shots go A, B, C, D, right? That's how you keep track of your shots and you know exactly what you're going for. And um, so everybody knows what you're doing. So yeah, I know my AD is gonna look at this and go, oh my God, Don, you have, you, you go from A through M on your shot list for scene one, that's for one scene. But you know what, that, that scene is like four pages long. So it's, it's intense because uh, this, script has so many levels of activity. I was in a um, in a directing workshop recently, just a few days ago, past weekend, I think. And the, the woman who is a director, does lots of television, uh, she said, you have an action film. And I laughed because I know that. I So there are two things I love, action and comedy. And <laughs> I knew I had written an action film just based on the amount of motion and activity and level of 
uh, interaction that happens. So it's very exciting. I'm like, yes, indeed, it is an action <laughs> film. She's like, oh my gosh, Don, this is such a high level of technical of technical difficulty. I said, okay, I don't feel like I'm not worried, <laughs> but I am worried. Anyway, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh yeah, I no, mean that, you know that Leah. Like when you were reading this, did you realize? the level of technical difficulty we were going to end up i don't think i did i maybe should have and maybe that's a lesson i've learned through this but i i feel like a fool in retrospect because don and i had these conversations when we were building it and we're like oh we're going to be so easy on ourselves we're putting it in one location this is great it's nice confined like, four sets <laughs> one location <laughs> now it became four sets uh five main characters uh but yeah, a full cast of like 12, 12 people in a short film, right? That's, that's yeah, awesome. Chase I, scenes. I, yeah. yeah, exactly. I, yeah, there's a whole choreography, like Birdman type of vibe of the, of the camera work. There's a huge jib shot we're talking about. Oh, my camera. There we go. Uh, you know, like it is, it's got everything in it. And I, the fun part is I don't think any of us really know. It's the beautiful thing of like your first your first foray, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And so you kind of dream big, but you don't know you're dreaming big. So you don't know to feel scared. <laughs> like, Worried. Yeah, we're so yeah. Scared. yeah, we'll get there when we get there. But um, yeah, you know, the, it might be a, a good moment too to, to mention our seed and spark as well. We're doing, we're in the middle of crowdfunding right now. Uh, we have, I think, uh, nine days left of our, of our funding campaign. And we are so thrilled and honored. We have met our, uh, we've met our goal. However, we through this, just like Don was saying, we're realizing there were things that we hadn't, and you know, that we, it happens in every production that you don't anticipate being a need, and particularly right now, which goes back, Donia, to your uh, to your first question about like how you're feeling about the world right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, COVID is very much still a part of our lives, and that. I think a few months ago when we were building this budget, we were thinking about what the complications would be. Numbers were decreasing and restrictions were relaxing, but they're rolling back. Mm -hmm. And so we're realizing in order to make this a really safe set and for, to make this uh, something everyone feels really good and comfortable around, that takes money for better or for worse. So, you know, we definitely are pushing ourselves and stretching and hoping that people can engage to take us a little extra far so we can be extra safe and that we can provide all the extra uh, tests on on the stage, on the day of, all that good stuff. But it's definitely, uh, this is a huge project. You know, we're going for a, a crew right now that I think is somewhere in the 50s, which is quite a bit of people. And so, and that really takes, that really takes money to make it all work. So we are so thankful for how far we're going, but you know, we are very much are energized not to stop there. So we have, we want this to be as best as possible. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw that you guys were conducting a fundraiser for this film. Now, can you tell me, how that went, how it's going. Well, that's what Leah was just talking about. It's the seed and spark. And first of all, I want to shout out to you. Um, I've known Martin and Naya for 20 years. Wow. Um, when I, before I ever decided I was going to get into writing and um, well, no, I take that back. I knew I was going to get into writing before then. I just didn't know how or what or how it was going to take shape. And so I met Martin about 20 years ago here in Sacramento for what used to be like a, a Sacramento workshop and it was a, a filmmaking group. And um, uh, and I, so I'm gonna shout out, thank you, thank you, thank you, Martin and Naya uh, for being so amazing. He actually gave us $2,500 at the executive producer level uh, like a week ago. I mean, he came through, we were kind of in, in the, about the midpoint and he just sent us over that that edge, you know, and from there on, it's really snowballed. So, um, Martin, we can't wait to see you down there and to come get some great picks and check it out and uh, get your name on this thing because we just owe you. I mean, you've been a great friend and a great pal. And so I want to put that out there. Now, I also am involved in, you know, I run the American Screenwriting Conference and we just had that conference a few weekends ago. And um, Martin is, is highly involved in that. So. I hang out with, he just took me to the doctor. He's like a pal. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so Marty, I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious why you're not here. I hope you're really, really busy because I'm going to have to kick your butt. <laughs> but uh, the Seed and Spark, like Leah said, is going great. We had, um, we met our goal of 15,000 yesterday. 
where we hit the 15,000 mark. And so we're shooting for 20. Just because like Leah said, that COVID crap is, that's off the chain expensive, man. And then, you know, even though we're getting a lot donated and we don't have to pay for the $200,000 that it's gonna cost to produce this thing. And I'm not joking, this, this soundstage alone would probably cost 15 to $20,000 to rent if we were going to actually rent it and pay for it. Um, that doesn't take into consideration that they're building the sets and they're painting the sets. And then they're giving us over 200 lights to hang. We don't have to pay for that rental. So MBS and Television City and Women in Media are totally coming through in so many ways. So we're making what could be this, this incredibly high quality film for you know our $20,000. But that's why like go to our Seed and Spark, we're looking at smashed the movie, Seed and Spark, throw down five, 10, 15, 20, 100, 2,500, 5,000, whatever you can afford. And uh, it's really, like, like Lena said at the beginning of this, women in media is about bridging that parity gap. And we are, the people working on this are at so many different levels in their career. We have keys that are very, very experienced and know exactly what they're doing. And we have people who have been learning along the way. And we have people who want to explore these new options and who are building on, on existing skills or, and leveling up. And, um, and this is going to help bridge that parity gap. This is the kind of thing that gives people the experience and the resume and the CV uh, to get hired for the next job and the next job and the next job. And that's what, what we're doing. We have very few men on, we still love men. We have no problem with men. <laughs> we want to help our sisters, you know, and, and watch our sisters and our daughters and our granddaughters one day, you know, keep moving forward and keep moving up so that they can make the same money, that they can do something that they love. So yeah, I'm so yeah. glad that you're providing that space, that safe space for women to, to step their, to get their foot, their foot in the door. Like you said, it's a, it's a male dominated industry, sadly. And um, I hope this is a starting point for more films like this to come and, and including more women in this. So thank you for that. And what I have to say, you know, this is, a, this has been inspiring for me because, you know, from what you guys are telling me, it's been a maze, you know, starting this film. It's been, the, when you told me it was going to be a horror story, I was like, what? <laughs> I don't see this, you know? Um, yeah. That's very inspiring because for me, it's like, I, I have to have like a beginning to end kind of idea where I, I have to start something. I kind of have to already see the finishing end. And, you know, you guys are learning along the way. That's very inspiring for me, you know, to just um, get on into it. Cause there was a saying where if you're waiting till you're ready, you're never going to be ready. Kind of mm -hmm. to prepare yourself. And so, yeah, I, it's, it's been lovely talking to you guys. If, if there's anything else you would like to mention about this film or, or give a shout out to someone, the floor is yours. <laughs> well, well, definitely, I think we want to shout out to our other two producers for sure, uh, Bex and Samantha. They are, we truly couldn't be doing this without them. And then definitely shout out to our entire crew, our entire crew, which are giving all of us, all of us are living complex, busy lives, and all of us are showing up and really putting in the work. And it's just incredible to see because there's really it's just full of passionate, devoted people who want to make this story come true and who are believing in Don's leadership and vision. And it's just, I want to just thank and send the biggest heart out to our amazing Smash team. Uh, beautiful, beautiful people. So I want to say that. Go ahead. Yeah, awesome. I, well, I mean, I, I ditto that comment and obviously to Martin for supporting us and, and showing us that love. And um and to women in media and MBS and you know, television city for like just backing us all the way and believing in us to, to do this. I'm, you know, that's, that's amazing. So. And we hope everyone watching uh, joins into the, the team smash too. Please uh, Ooh, definitely go on. Follow team. us. Yeah, exactly. You, whether you have uh, a dollar or not to put forward, you can always just follow us. That's for free and you get to stay involved with all of us check while you're there check out our video we we find ourselves hilarious we think we <laughs> exciting video hope you do too it's worth a watch and uh, if you feel so inspired please come join our team also follow us on instagram twitter and facebook at smash the movie we hope to see you there hey guys you guys heard it at smash the movie make sure to follow those handles on every social media 
Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your day to talk with me about this amazing film. I already know you guys are going to be amazing. I know production starts in two weeks. I wish you guys the best of luck. I see this going far and I am so excited to see this film. Thank, thank, thank you. you. We hope you will. There'll yes. be a Sacramento yeah. premiere. So thank you so much for your time. No, thank you. Bye guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.